Hi boys and girls, this is our second day of writing and the goal for today is to write our introduction sentence and our first detail. Now yesterday I read the article to you and we highlighted information. If you were not able to do that, you do need to go back to the Monday page and make sure that you complete it by watching that video and then doing the assignment. Um, then for today, our goal like I said before, is that we're going to write the introduction in our first detail. So what I want you to start with is we'll scroll down to the next page here, and we have our draft writing title, and it says by. You need to put your name here. So I'm gonna put by Mrs. Van Otten, and then you need to click the enter button two times. That will move your cursor down so that you can start writing a little bit lower. At the top here, you see these lines. That tells you where your cursor is and where you would like to start your writing. So we're going to click this one that says left align, and it moves our start over to the left. Then I want you to click the tab button on your keyboard to give a little indent. An indent is a little space to where it shows you that you're starting a paragraph. So I'm going to click tab and it moved it over just a little bit. For your introduction, you need to tell your reader what you are writing about. So for this week, we're writing about giraffes. So you need to tell your reader, who is your teacher, that you are writing about giraffes. So I might start with, um, I am going to tell you about, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna change this actually. I'm gonna tell you some, facts about giraffes okay boys and girls it can be very simple and short you just need to tell your reader that you are talking about giraffes and we're going to be telling them facts because this is informational writing meaning that we are going to give information about a topic so we are giving facts about giraffes then you're going to write your first detail so I'm going to come up here to the top again, and I see that I highlighted from yesterday my first fact. I have baby giraffes are called calves, and by the time they are a year old, they are about 10 feet tall. Now when I write this first fact, boys and girls, first I need to use the transition word first, comma, and then I'm going to tell about it. But now, boys and girls, remember, you cannot copy. I will not stress that enough. You cannot copy the fact from above. You have to take that fact and put it in your own words. So we have baby drafts are called calves, and by the time they're a year old, they are about 10 feet tall. So first, a baby giraffe can grow to be 10 feet tall in their first year, and they are called calves. Okay, so boys and girls, you can see, oops, I spelled that incorrect. I'm gonna take that L out, there we go. Um, so boys and girls, you can see that I did not copy the sentence, instead I changed it just a little bit and put it into my own words, okay? And I also shared that same information from above, just in a different way. Boys and girls, this is your goal for today, is to get these two sentences completed. Remember, Google Docs saves your writing all by itself, so you don't need to click any save button. But you also have to remember that your teacher can look at your writing every single day to make sure that you are doing what you are supposed to be doing. So make sure that by the end of today, you have these two sentences written. Good luck on your um, first day of writing, and or I guess your second day of writing. And um, let your teacher know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.